Good afternoon, everyone present here. It is my privilege to extend a warm welcome to our Dean Academics, Engineer Dinesh Gupta Sir, Attorney Anupri Ma, and Faculty Members, our guests, Pavneet Kaur and Mia Sanman, and my dear friends. Pavneet Kaur is a BTEC graduate with three years corporate experience. She is an expert in resume building, interview techniques, and corporate grooming of the students. And Raees Ahmadar is working as lead trainer not with Innovation Education Services Private Limited and having experience of four years in data science and machine learning. Today's seminar will be given by a team of innovation who will graciously accept our invitation to join us today. We are honored to have a team of innovation with us today to share their insights and experience with students and faculty. Innovation is an education solution and services company that focuses on creating corporate employability for students. I am sure that this interaction with guests will be a valuable learning experience for all. With this, I invite one of the representatives to please come and grace us with their insightful words. For this wonderful opportunity, uh, myself, Rahi Samad, as I am the lead trainer uh, North. I am basically into data science and machine learning. So uh, today uh, uh, we will be going through our internship program. It will not be regarding some particular topic. So uh, maybe, hopefully, in the near future, we will be conducting some uh, more uh, these sessions on some particular technology like data science, machine learning, the roadmaps, or something. I hope uh, we'll be invited again and we will conduct such sessions in the near future also. So today we are going to uh, discuss about our internship program, what you are going to learn from this, what is the roadmap like and what we will be covering, okay? So firstly, uh, let me introduce the Vinovation. We at Vinovation, what we exactly do? So basically we have MOU signed up with colleagues and we have industry partners as well. As in the industry, I mean various companies like in the tech sector mostly. So we have various companies like working in data science, web development and all. So uh, we have an uh, agreement signed with them. So we refer our students, we firstly, uh, first of all, train our students with the technology, with the skills they need to make them job ready. So the skills are mostly from the tech sector. So basically we are dealing with tech technology only uh, currently. And then all we refer the students to these companies whenever there is a requirement or an opportunity. Like uh, not only the technical skills, we uh, build the students, we make them like the all-round development of the students, right? Whether it's communication skills, CV building, network building, or stuff like that. Everything they need. So this is a one-stop uh, solution for the companies as well as the students, right? Am I clear? Spans over four months. The motto is to train students uh, to get their innovative ideas and build some projects, to train them as well as build their projects. Okay, make them build. Not will not build the projects. Will make you build the project, right? So we'll impart the various skills you will need to uh, these, uh, do these projects, and uh, you will learn a roadmap of the projects, like where to start and where to end, to the, from the very very basic scratch to the actual deployment of the projects. <coughs> this is the overview of our program. So. What is different in us, these are some of the companies and we have uh, 70 plus more companies. These are some of the companies dealing in the tech sector as you may be aware of these companies. So these uh, we, are, we are in agreement with these companies and uh, whenever they have an opportunity, they contact us and we have our students. We know which students are skilled in what technology. Is there a problem? Am I audible? Okay. So they refer the post, uh, posts or the jobs to us and we provide them the suitable candidates, right? And uh, another thing that sets us apart is the various technologies we cover. We cover almost all the technological sectors, all the domains, whether it is data science, whether it is cloud computing, cyber security, machine learning, AI, <coughs> blockchain. Okay, as you all may be aware of, as you are computer science students, you are uh, aware of these things. So these are the emerging technology, these are the trends in today's world. So I suppose you all uh, know about these technologies. So we cover all these technologies. We recently built a driver drowsiness system. Has uh, anyone heard of this driver drowsiness system? 
So it's basically has been uh, implemented in the uh, like various vehicles in the foreign. I don't think okay. here in India, but uh, this has been implemented in various cars and I guess it in the uh, these trucks etc. Says that whenever a uh, driver feels drowsy, there's a sensor attached. So we use machine learning in this. We use machine learning to detect whether a driver is drowsy or not, whether he is uh, feeling as a sleep or not, uh, feeling sleepy. Okay. Then it sets an alert, or it can send an alarm, or it can vibrate. Okay. So we have built this system, and it has been implemented. So this has been built by one of our uh, alumni, a, a group of students, and we have also built. Uh, these are just a few uh, to name a few here. Mental health chatbot. This is AI based. We have fine tuned um, uh, like. Language models you heard of? Have you heard of language models? Anyone? Nobody? You heard of Chat GPT? So Chat GPT is a language model. So what is a language model basically? Anyone? Any idea? I am not audible. Chat GPT basically. This is 
the life cycle, I hope this is visible. So uh, the life cycle of this internship program will be like in the first month, it will be, it will be more about orientation and tech selection. You will be, uh, you are uh, expected to choose a technology, like whether you want to go into blockchain, whether you want to go into cyber security, cloud computing or anything. Right? So this will be about it and there will be, uh, the module 1 will be covered in the month 1, like it will be very basic stuff, the basic knowledge of this domain, okay? And then in the second month, it will be uh, reviewing and assessment of the very first month and then the module 2, it will be a little bit uh, middle level, in the middle, somewhere in the middle, not the very complex stuff, not the very basic stuff and we will start to build your project in the very second month. So hands-on project will start in the very second month. Simultaneously, we are doing both the things like training as well as building the project, right? In the third month, it will be starting like getting from the phase one to the next phase, like the actual development of the project. The first phase uh, of the project will be more of like a simple hands-on project. Then we will start in the third month the actual development and we will uh, give you some industry insights like you will be in the, uh, uh, some industry experts will visit you, so you will take some uh, sessions from the industry experts and you will be uh, going to some industries, uh, some visits will be arranged and then uh, we will review the progress and we will cover uh, some advanced topics and skills in the very third month, right? And in the final month, it will be the actual pro project deployment. Anybody knowing anything about deployment? What is the deployment? How projects are deployed? What does it mean to deploy a project? Anybody have done any project yet? <coughs> a small program? Okay. So the actual deployment, let's not get into that case. The actual deployment is the actual use of the project. Suppose if I am building a machine learning project, as we talked about earlier. So if I have to deploy it, I mean I will put it on the internet for the users to use it, right? Very much clear, okay? It's a very basic, simple stuff. And we'll be using uh, Python. If I am doing machine learning and data science, we'll be using Python for this because Python is more widely used. Okay, we'll be using Python and we'll be having the, the certification in the last month of this. So it will be certified and your PPT presentations will be prepared. You will be helped in that also. Okay, so these very things, these are very important like presentation, building presentation, PPT, speaking in front of an audience and then building your CVs, building your network, these are very much important as you are about to come out of your academic life and you are uh, go, uh, going to like look for a job or going in an industry, whatever industry it is. Thank you. 